Since its debut, the James Webb Telescope has been active and has undoubtedly discovered previously unseen objects. Like the image of the Inner Orion Nebula, the photographs that have returned are astounding. The stunning image of northern area of the Orion Nebula displays the incredible clarity of unsettling cosmic canyons of gas and dust. It also captured the very first direct glimpse of a planet outside of our solar system. The James Webb Telescope, however, captured a picture that some claim refutes the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory may have problems. Hello, science lovers. Welcome back to Science Theory. So, what else did the Webb Telescope discover? Was it a planet of candy? <laughs> Just kidding. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon to receive notifications. So, where were we? Ah, yes. So, do you guys know what else the Webb Telescope has discovered? The dwarf galaxy Wolf Lundmark Melot was just captured in a stunning image of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, or WLM. The image shows the dwarf galaxy, which is about 10 times smaller than the Milky Way, and is located 3 million light years away. The dwarf galaxy is swarming with innumerable white stars, as can be seen. According to NASA, WLM is regarded as a dwarf galaxy in our local galaxy, even though it is close. It is also far more separated from our Milky Way than other surrounding galaxies that were also close by. WLM is likewise deficient in atoms heavier than hydrogen and helium because its chemical composition is similar that of to galaxies in the early cosmos. Due to WLM's diminutive size and low mass, supernova events that have the potential to be strong and energetic enough to drive heavier components outside of the galaxy. The near-infrared camera on the Webb Telescope captured exquisite details. We can see a variety of individual stars of various colors, sizes, temperatures, ages, and stages of evolution. Interesting clouds of nebular gas within the galaxy, foreground stars with Webb's diffraction spikes, and background galaxies with neat features, according to Kristen McQuinn of Rutgers University, one of the lead scientists on Webb's early release science. The black background is dotted with many white stars, with yellow and orange background galaxies of various shapes. The image's upper left corner features a giant, faint golden spiral that is one prominent galaxy. A big white star with protracted diffraction spikes that can be seen close to the right of the top center is another distinguishing feature, according to NASA. Additionally, NASA released a film of old photographs from space observatories. A chilling, incredibly dusty image of the Pillars of Creation was previously acquired by the James Webb Telescope. The Pillars of Creation are located at a distance of 6,500 light years in the vast Eagle Nebula. Wait, we just heard that these pillars are going to hit the Earth. If you guys don't want that to happen, click the subscribe, like, and bell icons for more interesting videos like these. Uh, moving on. Another intriguing and important property of WLM is that the gas that makes up the object is identical to the gas that formed galaxies in the early cosmos. It's not particularly enriched chemically. This is because the galaxy lost many of those components as a result of phenomenon called galactic winds. Some of the material is evacuated from the galaxy as massive stars explode. Even though WLM has recently, in fact, throughout the entirety of the cosmic time, been creating stars, and those stars have been synthesizing new elements. Strong an intense enough supernova can force material out of small, low-mass galaxies like WLM. This makes WLM very interesting because you can use it to study how stars grow and develop in tiny galaxies like those in the early cosmos. A recent powerful focus of the Webb Telescope was on Neptune, and it captured the eerie image of the planet and seven of its 14 known moons. Remember that Neptune is in the dark part of our solar system, 30 times further from the Sun than the Earth. And if you're wondering why Triton, the moon of Neptune, appears to be a brilliant star in this picture, it does so because of a frozen layer of condensed nitrogen that covers its surface and reflects roughly 70% of the sunlight that strikes it, compared to the photographs we're using, used to seeing which depict Neptune as an icy blue ball. These images look very different. The difference is that these photos were shot using a web-based near-infrared camera with a 0.6-5 micron wavelength range. Neptune doesn't appear blue to the web because of this. Additionally, the planet's methane gas greatly absorbs red and infrared light, making it exceedingly black at near-infrared wavelengths. The core of this young star's cooler and dense gas takes on a reddish dust color complex hydrocarbons that will form future stars are located in the most active region in the middles. 
sparkles with young stars that appear blue to the upper left, the young star cluster. The James Webb Space Telescope has recently released new images that really show off its power. In this amazing view, the telescope's mid-infrared instrument captured the heart of the phantom galaxy, where masses of gas and dust are sharply highlighted within the galaxy's arms, along with dense clusters of stars at the center. The main objective of science is to reconstruct the history of star formation in the galaxy. Some of the stars in WLM are currently invisible, were generated in early universe since low star masses can endure for billions of years. Knowing more about these low mass stars' features, like their ages, may help us understand what was going on in the terribly distant past. We can learn a lot about the early creation of galaxies by analyzing high redshift systems, where we can see galaxies as they were when they were first formed. So, what do you think of these incredible images discovered by NASA? Let us know in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more content. Check out our channel for more interesting videos like this.